uh, it's about um, understanding why why we did that in the first place and understanding how this reality is created and built and having an understanding of that and understanding that the subconscious is what creates this reality. So if reality is being made through the subconscious and again the subconscious has been hijacked okay so then um, this is basically for what's been done so they have created thought prisons throughout um, throughout all of our time so thought prisons being philosophical thought prisons or religious thought prisons or um, any 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 of the ones any of the any of the ones that are like that they don't mind which one you buy into as long as you buy into one of them yeah. and give it full wholeheartedly give your whole heart into it because essentially like I've been trying to work on at the moment and explain that this is a, a war on the human heart and Earth is the, the final part of multiple other planets that have been, this has been done to and, and Earth is the heart, the heart center place. So they're trying to take control of the, the Earth because it's the heart. And um, by the way to do that is attack innocence. And uh, the first thing you're going to do if you're going to take over a planet is you want to take away the, the, the strongest male energy. Yeah. Um, so that's been done very calculatedly, especially over the, the 20th century, with the um, inversion, the inversion of the original Baphomet. Um, the the original Baphomet, I think we were talking to you about this earlier, wasn't a, an androgynous goat of Mendes pointing as above, so below, like that at all. But um, Eliphas Levi then created this goat um, to uh, show what, a ma what it would be to, to uh, externally create a male and female in one body, to have an androgynous um, a being that way. But to take out the planet, first of all, they need to um, take away the strong males of the planet. And so there's an, a massive push and a surge to emasculate the males on this planet. And, um, it's it's very it's a very touchy subject because you can't really go too far with it without being called a bigot or without being called. Well, it's uh, a bit like the Jew term. That yeah, immediately triggers. You're, well, you're immediately, immediately yeah. condemned if you if you say anything if you uh, that goes against kind of the mainstream thought of that. Uh, the pedophile rings that are that are attached to um, all the things that are going on at the moment are to do with attacking the innocence of of human beings. And these a lot of these children's homes are on energy lines. So right. the trauma from the, the what those children go through well, they, they, is they're ingested they're into the earth's energetic system. Yeah, you want to keep an eye on who's writing the children's books. And um, you know, you see a lot of celebrities writing children's books. I'm not going to name any names, but you can go and look around and find that, that um, well, Mad I don't name one, Madonna has written a number of children's books. There are, other, there are others too, and we, like, it's kind of, it's, it's out there pretty much that Madonna is um, a high priestess and she's, and she, it's very clear if you watch any of her perform or number of her performances at the, um, any of the big shows that she's doing ritualistic work, she's doing that, and she's writing children's books because they want to get to children because children is the raw innocence they're not so much interested in the later years because you sort of already adapted your thought patterns and your thought prisons you've already sort of done anyway so going back to Dahl's books and going back to children's books and how significant they are so if you're reading those if you're reading those stories to children and they're layered with subconscious imagery subconscious letters then um, that's going to be embedded within the child and then you know they, this particular consciousness that is doing this here is, is purely and simply a vampiric consciousness. It's, it doesn't have a central core energy to feed itself. It has to take from others. It doesn't naturally understand what giving is. It has to take from other, other beings. That's how it works. So um, this, this false reality that's manifested and created here is done by um, embedding images and sounds and, and ideas into, the ch into children's minds and then you, you grow up uh, having and thinking that you know go also textbooks you know like we were saying with children's textbooks that's you're given what the fundamental ideas of what, what we're told history is and what we're, how we're told the world is and then that is then put to the conscious mind and then so we believe it to be so then we manifest a false reality so we're living out a reality that really um, wouldn't be what we isn't our natural state 
at all. The, the horror movies that are coming out now, like I used to think the horror movies from the 70s, the Italian horror movies were the seven, from the 70s were the most like intense and the most gruesome that, that, that you could be, but they've, they've taken it a step further with the, with the extreme nature of like the Saw movies and like those movies. All the movie theaters themselves are also built on energy grid points uh, that so to harvest the energy from from the fear of the people watching the movies. So the whole thing like, set up. Y yeah, yeah, to make sure because fear energy, they, fear energy is the best um, energy for them to then take and then go and create to, to, to create the false reality. They don't understand the love energy. They don't understand it. They, so the, their mentality is to conquer and destroy and it's always about um, self-preservation conquering and destroying they don't care they don't take care of it. this particular consciousness doesn't take care of its young if it's if, if it's young or weakened it discards them and throws them away the mammalian consciousness feeds its young and nurtures its young takes care of it whereas they so that then that ma that that manifests how they are um, as adults as well. They, they have no time for anybody who's weak or anybody who has uh, a disability or anybody. They're playing out a storyline. They're playing out, they're, they use, they use revel they're using revelations from the Bible as a storyline, as a storybook. And they're trying to sort of, man that's why that's the most embedded book. And, you know, and King James altered it and changed it around and, and inverted all of true Christ's teachings True Christ teachings weren't weren't really anything to do with most of the stuff that's written in there. The, the like the core of Christ teach, Christ's teachings were about compassion and, and caring about other people. And, and this is the planet of amnesia, and so you know nobody, everyone's walking around not knowing who really who they are. So um, to experience going from not knowing to knowing um, is a, is a massive. Uh, it, it is like it is like nothing else. What is this, this vampiric consciousness that's here, that's in control of it, um, are coming here with memories. They're coming down here with memories. There's an interesting analogy that somebody said to me before, and I, and uh, I sort of elaborated on it a little bit. It's almost like it's um, a holographic, very 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 real video game where they came down and they had the rule books and all the cheats and we were left and scattered across the planet yeah. with nothing. So they're holding the cheat book. They have the cheat book. So they're coming here with previous memories of lifetimes. So they this so they built the great work the great work of ages that they all talk about and they're all that the masons are all so so glee and and uh, so happy about that they want to complete is putting the capstone back on top on the top of the pyramid and replacing the capstone on the pyramid would be meaning um, that they had complete control of the human heart and this planet um, that uh, isn't going to happen that isn't going to happen um, you know they want to blur the lines of everything so that there's confusion and so uh, I think I said before like one of their mottos, Masonic mottos, is Ordo Ab Chao, which is order out of chaos. And so what they want to do is create literally as much chaos by blurring the lines of everything, whether so it's sexuality or whatever, so that then they can implement their new world, you know, new world system. So what? You know, because most of us don't survive those things. 99.999% don't survive. And the ones who do survive um, sort, of, sort of left out in the cold, so to speak, you know, and, and their stories are sort of pushed aside as, as crazy and insane, and, and um, this really does go on, you know. These There's an awful lot of people coming forward with this stuff. Yeah, mean, and it's fantastic. If, if, if the, the paedophilia is one thing, but these ritual child killings is just... Yeah, I mean, um, satanic um, SRA, satanic ritual abuse, is, um, you know, is, is, is a part of, you know, a lot of people's story to definitely look out for is they're going to make your heroes look like uh, it was set up 20, 30, 40 years ago to layer these heroes into your hearts and then now in this present day tell you that they've, they're actually this, that or the other uh, uh, child Which child is of killers. course been happening for the last year or two. And people don't want to accept yeah. it either. They don't want to accept that, so that's the truth. So a lot still won't accept it when they hear, even when they, you know, that their Savile is is only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to this stuff. 
I was speaking to a new, uh, a young social worker, and she just is amazed that the scale of the paedophilia is absolutely massive. Yeah, and they all cover each other's backs too. They all, so they all, they, they all take care of one another. So it's like you know, it's a, it's, uh, uh, they're 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 very very uh, careful to protect one another because they that that it's not really about it's not really about sexuality. It's about energy. It's about taking the innocence. It's about harming the heart. And it's about taking the, the, the innocence, the, the energy, because that gives them, to stealing that energy then gives them uh, the energy they need to go and build or do and create whatever they want to create.